Good morning, babes. So today's vlog is going to be pretty interesting. Today we're going to be decluttering and going through my entire closet in this studio. I have two closets, you guys. I have my bedroom closet, of course, which is not as big as this one. A lot of you guys want me to do like a bedroom tour. I'm let me sit down. Yeah, let me sit this right here. Yeah, that's what the tripod's for, stuff. All right, that's great. So here's the deal with my bedroom. My bedroom was done a few years back and my style was vintage glam. Like my theme was vintage glam. Um, I can still do a video for you guys, but the overall reason why I haven't is just because it's not my thing anymore. Like my style has completely changed. I get bored so fast, but I feel like I can live with the style that I'm going through right now. Very minimalistic, very clean, very modern almost like nothing is in the room. I just really like that. I have like a mirrored nightstand table right beside me. My headboard has like silver studs on it. The color of the wall is kind of like a very soft like blushy taupe. It's just, it's very, very ultra feminine and just very kind of vintage glam. That's exactly like the two words I used to describe it when I was doing it. I have a closet in that bedroom. So that closet is like my everyday stuff like the stuff in this closet in this studio it's more for the stuff that i wear for you guys on instagram and stuff like that so the other stuff is more of the basics like cardigans all my like other jackets that i'm probably not going to be doing looks with here they're all in there like all my old winter stuff i can't be really keeping in here i keep some of the stuff but it's only because i can style looks with it but again we're going to go through that today it's basically the stuff that you would wear like every single day like when you walk out of your house you're not going to be wearing like a a lace crop top kind of thing so that's what this closet is for whereas my bedroom closet is just like all my basics and like my boring stuff to me this closet is a disaster right now like it's not really a disaster but it just I can't do it anymore I have brand new clothes that's sitting on top of my dresser right now you guys so I have a bunch of new clothes right there and they're just sitting there because I have nowhere to put them I have completely run out of hangers I think I have like three or four in there but they're all like the pants kind of hanger ones so I'm kind of stuck there as well. The shoes, you guys, my feet have completely shrunk. I tell you guys all the time, because of my weight loss, my feet have shrunk. I used to be a seven. Now I'm like a six. Some shoes are like a five and a half, depending on the heel. It's insane. A lot of the shoes are going to have to go today. But you know what? I'm really going to try to get rid of stuff that I just haven't worn in months. Like, that's my rule. It's got to go. It's got to get out. The other thing I want to show you guys, very, very interesting. I can't believe I did this, you guys. Like, I'm so weird sometimes. So I ordered a DNA test. <laughs> Always like every time I used to see this on TV, I'm like, I want to do one. It tells you like your heritage, of course. That's what it's called. I got it from myheritage.com or .ca. MyHeritageDNA.com. It comes like this, the package. So I'm going to be doing the DNA test. It says not to drink anything 30 minutes before or eat anything, so I kind of have to wait a few minutes and then I'm going to do the test. I just want to find out if I have like, you know, any other culture. I mean, I wouldn't be mad if I had a little bit of Latina in me. I'm not gonna be upset or anything. It's what I'm hoping for, okay? I'm hoping that when the results come back, it says you have a little bit of Latina in you. This is how the box comes. You kind of just open it like that. This is so exciting, my God. It was so creepy when I first opened this up. I was like, okay, um, this is weird. I don't really know what this is for, but I guess we'll find out. And then these two vials, like, guys, this is so weird. I'm weird for even doing this. Then it has the swabs. I'm just curious to see what it says. Watch it come back and it's like the most boring result ever. Hey guys, let's go inside my closet and see what mess we have here. I have like pieces hanging up over here because I don't have like any room to hang it up. All my shoes, like they're not really like super, super neat because I know I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of them because half of these, I'm not joking you guys, they do not fit. And it's so sad because I love a lot of them and I got them because they were like such classics and basics But now I have to get rid of them then as you guys can tell I don't know if you guys can tell when I was over here, but the rig rack is actually right here And I kind of just slid it on in there because in this room I didn't know where else I was gonna put it I have running shoes over there like I don't know where else to put it I have my slides another pair of slides on the floor It just looks messy and I'm just not feeling it So that's what the bottom looks like on the bottom I try to keep coats because they're very like thicker and bigger and I just want them to stay at the bottom 
plus the bottom is longer even though some of them are kind of flooding on the floor there's nothing really I can do about that but yeah the bottom has like all my jackets my jeans are all in one corner and so everything that's longer even dresses will be at the bottom here everything up here is going to be shirts and stuff like that so shirts body suits crop tops tank tops stuff like that but half of the stuff you guys doesn't fit me anymore or if i feel like i've worn something and i'm just never going to wear it again i gotta just get rid of it i really just want to like get everything organized in here and I'm always in this room, so when this room is not like clean and neat, it just, I, I can't really breathe. So it's just like kind of itching at me and the perfectionist is like, you have to get this like done. I'm going to like pile everything on my sofa and of course I'm gonna give it away to charity. I love giving it away to charity, but it always feels good to kind of give it away, especially to people who need it more than I do. It's kind of greedy for me to keep every single thing when I'm not even using it, so I might as well just give it away. I'm just gonna go through all my shoes, see which ones I wanna keep, see which ones I wanna throw out, and same thing with my clothes, so let's get started. By the way, you guys, I'm wearing my sure gave these to me and I don't want to get rid of them because they're so beautiful. But you guys, they're just way too big on me. But they're just so gorgeous. I showed you guys a hack using these guys. So they're like little bra pads that you put inside of here. My rule is if you have not worn the shoe in months and months and months, you have to get rid of it. So I just have to get rid of them. So this one, you guys, is from Boohoo. It's super big on me, but I'm going to be keeping it because just for outfit photos, I have to keep another lookout for another shoe around um, this color because I absolutely love these so much. I definitely need like basics to stay in my closet to go through those shoes as well. So this is what I'm left with. I did the top portion and the bottom portion. Look how much room we have now. I'm so happy about this. I just keep obviously buying new, new clothes all the time. So I just need, you know, room to put it. My shoes, I'm gonna put them all on the floor here and I'm gonna wipe down the shelves and then I'm gonna put them back and organize them. And this is what's going on over here. All my coats are there, all my hangers. Look how many hangers I have now. Can't tell you how happy that makes me. And then I have all my shoes that do not fit and I have not used for the longest time. And all my clothes that I'm giving away, that's all the clothes that is going out. So I really wanna like start drinking my water and I can't drink before I take this test so let's do it now this is still so weird to me okay let's make sure i'm doing this right register it cool take out the test kit okay cool one cheek swab from its wrapper scrape inside one of your cheeks while rotating the swab for 30 seconds put it inside the vial close it swab the other cheek with the second thing and then put it in the mail pretty simple not that complicated so let's get swabbing there okay so the two vials go inside of this guy. Open one of these. I don't know why, but I'm like super nervous. Okay. Okay, I think we have enough DNA in that one. It said 30 to 60 seconds. And then put it in here and break off where that black thing is. That's what it said. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's, that went smoothly. That's awesome. Close the vial. Get one second cheek, guys. Oh. <sighs> Snap this part off. Oh, come on. That's it. So now it says to put these guys, put them on here, and put them inside danger bag. <laughs> these symbols are super scary. And it says close it, right? That's what it says. So now we have it in our little bag here and they gave me this envelope ready to go. This just goes inside of this envelope over here and it's ready for me to mail it in and it's going to take a couple weeks and then I will catch up in a new video showing you guys the results. Just a tip for you guys, just because my shelving units are not that wide, what I do is I put one at the back and then I put the heel sticking close to the front and they kind of just sit like that. It just saves a lot of space. I have a new pair of shoes, that's why I'm saving a little spot there. I'm going to show you guys that I bought. And you guys can also do this with the slides, just put them into each other just like that and it saves you a lot more room. I'm just keeping it like this because I want it to look nice and full. I think the next thing I'm going to do right now is kind of organize it by color and then at the bottom as well. So right now I am taking my jeans off of these hangers because I was putting two on one because I literally did not have any room. I feel like I am starting to catch something. I don't want to jinx myself, but I can just feel it. So I've already had an Echinacea tea this morning. I'm gonna have another one. I do not feel like cooking today. I just want to go and like grab something. I just, I can't do it. I'm gonna go to Osmos and I'm going to get, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna get Osmos. 
and I'm gonna get my Greek salad. I'm take it easy on the feta because I mean we don't really need cheese at the moment. I get the sauce on the side. If you guys go there and you guys want like a calorie friendly kind of tip, especially when you're going out anywhere, what I like to do is if it's like a sauce place where they give you like so many different types of sauces, always ask for it on the side. When I'm going to like a restaurant, I love starting all of my meals every time I go to a restaurant with a Caesar salad. But I always ask for the sauce on the side. For example, the last, I went to that Italian restaurant I showed you guys on uh, on Snapchat. But there was so much sauce. Like, you guys, I've never had a Caesar salad with so much sauce in my life. Like, it tastes great, don't get me wrong. Oh, I picked up the right amount of hangers. Um, it tastes great, don't get me wrong. But it definitely, like, sauces can start adding up on a ton of calories. Just a tablespoon of the sauce that I get at Osmos, the garlic one, is about 100, 100 and something calories per tablespoon. They are putting on six tablespoons over top. Like if you don't stop them, I always tell them either a little bit or I tell them to give it to me on the side. But if you don't stop them, you're getting a good like six to 700 calories just in sauce. And a lot of people probably don't know that. And I just reveal that it's the truth. Sauces are sometimes, sometimes they're light in calorie. That's definitely a tip that I would do. Like total random fact that I just gave there, but you know, we were putting pants on hangers and there's nothing else to talk about than my calorie deficit. So I have to show you guys this particular hanger with jeans. So these pants are really big on me. What I'm doing is I'm saving all three of them. These ones in particular, oh my god, you guys, there's so much room by my stomach. I think I'm going to wait until I've lost like all my weight and do a before and after picture. This is my old self. There was a time, you guys, that I was obsessed with wearing this cardigan. I just, I don't know if I should keep it or not. I just thought of an outfit. Never mind, I just thought of an outfit. We're good. I have cleared my rig -a rack these are all of the hangers that I have left. Now I'm gonna finally get to go through all of my new stuff. So when I have new clothes and I haven't like done any looks with them yet, I don't like to put them inside of my closet just because they get lost and they get forgotten about. So what I do is I like to keep them inside of my mom dresser, the first one over here. So that's where all this stuff was. I'm gonna go through everything and show you guys what I've recently got new. There is actually one inside my closet that I wanna show you guys. I just hung it up because I actually did a look with it. So this blouse from Forever 21, it is so pretty. I'm really getting into blouses. This first piece is the exact same pants that I wore for my birthday. The same trouser, I just have them in black. So I'm just gonna put them back in here just because I haven't done anything with them yet. The second shirt I have here, I got a little bit dirty when I was trying it on. This is Forever 21, it's a size small and it's $14.90. It has this like twisty knot thing right on the front. It is so adorable. I think I'm gonna style this with a pair of jeans. The next piece I have here are these like racer shorts from Romwe. I have tried these ones on, I absolutely love them. I'm gonna style this look with a lace bodysuit and I think I'm gonna take a few pics with that. So I have to keep that inside of my drawer over here as well. Romwe, I have gotten stuff from them before. You guys saw a video that I did with them. They're super affordable. This next piece I got is a bodysuit from Forever 21 as well. I ordered a couple things from them. This one is a size small and it's $16.90. It's a bodysuit with like a really deep V neckline and it has a little bit of a sleeve. And I mean, it's kind of a basic, so that's why I ended up getting this one. Next one is a black blouse from Forever 21. This one I got in a size medium as well and it was $24.90. So that's what it looks like. It's so pretty and classy. I just wanted a black one. So now I have a nude and a black. I think I want like a white one now. So I have to show you guys this next piece on the actual hanger because it is so pretty, you guys. It's a lace bodysuit. I also have this one in white. This one is from Romwe. I will be linking everything that I got from Romwe down below. So make sure you guys check out the description box. I didn't get charged any customs with them. So that's been my experience with them. I took photos with the white one that I'm gonna be showing you. But with the white one, what I did was I used nipple covers, but what I would recommend, that's just because I was using it in the mirror, but I think if I was going in public, I would definitely have to get like a very thin sort of bikini looking bra, and I would do just like a nude so that you don't see anything underneath. And then with the black, you can just do the black bra. This one is a size medium, and it fits really, really well on me. This next piece is from Urban Planet. How pretty is this? I absolutely love it. Again, it's another blouse, and it's a pinstripe, and it's black and white. I think they're sold out of the black one when I was 
was looking for the link but they do have the white one but I'll also leave a similar by Boohoo because Boohoo has one that's very similar to this and it is black and white as well so this one is a cropped hoodie by Urban Planet I actually bought it to wear with my Forever 21 track pants that I have right over here I've styled so many different looks with these pants they're so super comfortable I was shopping I'm like I hope it matches the red on the pants because you know there's so many different shades of red it's like almost dead on I would say it's like maybe 2% off so these pants are also from Urban Planet as well. I will leave the link. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find these. I wanted something like this just because I wanted to kind of do a more casual but semi-dressy kind of look with it. These ones are in a size medium. Look how cute this top is. Oh my god. So funny. The sizing was so weird with this one. This one is a size large. The large actually looks like a small. And it does stretch, but still, like, you need to definitely get a size up in this piece. This piece, I kid you not, I have been eyeing it from Forever 21 for a while now. And I just found it on sale, so I got it for, like, a super, super good price. I think it was, like, 8 bucks by the time I got the sale. This one I got in a size small. The fabric on this one... Oh my god, it is so comfortable. I wish that all of my bodysuits were just this exact bodysuit but in different basic colors. And it just kind of feels so smooth on your body. I tried it on and I just feel so super comfortable in it. I really, really like it. The white lace bodysuit that I showed you guys from Ramwe before in black. This is also, again, size medium. I absolutely love it. I have been, like, lace obsessed lately. So with this one, as I was saying, I would get, like, a nude bikini bra, like a seamless bra to go underneath. The thing I love about this bodysuit has the adjustable straps at the back. That is so important to me. Top from Romwe. So look how cute this is. It's kind of a crop top as well because I'm wearing very, very high-waisted pants right now. But it's so adorable. I have this one in a size small. Again, with the lace, I'm just obsessed. And the other thing, you guys, is I would not wear a bra with this top. It is already lined on the inside. It looks so adorable. This with a pair of jeans. Oh my goodness. So this is the last thing that I got brand new that I'm going to show you guys. I have been wanting to find another pair of black Adidas shoes because the only ones that I have are the ones that I wear to the gym. They're actually the exact same shoe. The one I have doesn't have like actual laces, it just stops right here. The only ones that they had was the black sole ones. They used to have this one with the white soles. So let's go put this in our little slot here that I left for them. My shoe section is now complete from what it was before. I felt like it was a lot more crowded before and there was just shoes that I didn't really need. And I've also cleared that shelf at the bottom that had a bunch of shoes. I only have one pair and those ones are thigh high so I just don't want them on the shelf there. And then our closet is also done. Now I have like a couple spaces in between the hangers where before it was so packed. And then here is the bottom. I have space between the hangers too. So what I did was I did white all the way to black and then I have all my denim. So even the denim jacket, everything that's denim is gonna be in one area. I'm so much happier with how my closet turned out. It looks so much better, you guys. And now my floor has nothing on it. You guys, Ben made an appearance. He doesn't like the camera. Anyways, guys, we are basically all done with my brand new closet that's all cleaned out. I'm so happy about that. So now I just kind of have to clean up. And I'm trying to do an outro. Just two minutes. And I'm going to go pick up lunch. I'm going to... Please, it's just an outro. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe. Give mommy a kiss. Okay. Okay, lay down for mommy. Lay down. Oh, that's what it wants. Okay. You guys, this dog is a menace. Like, you guys think he's so sweet. But anyways, I got love for him. I have both love and hate for him. There's there's a little bit of both in there. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Can you please be a good boy for mommy? You guys, this guy is so clingy. Like, I'm telling you guys, nothing is ever enough for him. Like, Aries, please. How intense can you possibly be? Do you guys know any dog that does this? Like, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you babes next time. Have fun. Yay. Say bye-bye, guys. See you next time.